Hello, Enimwa Enim Ado is here with me. Good morning, Enimwa Enim Hi, Winston. Enim Ado. How Hello. Are you, how are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Well, we're well. We're doing fine. Uh, it's a Friday. Anyway. We have abandoned our radio station. Yes, um, <laughs> we are, we're having fun on TV. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, well, uh, Benjamin Akakbo and, and Mama V. Yes. are also having fun on the Super Morning Show. Yes. Uh, let's see how it goes after today. And then we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the daily uh, graphic for today that says, keep tolerance in schools. President appeals to stakeholders. I know the president yesterday while addressing uh, our Muslim brothers and sisters uh, talked about the need to keep tolerance in our schools. He talked about, uh, you know, the Wesley girl situation and how the Minister of Education together with, uh, you know, Muslim leaders and the Methodist Church were looking, I mean, were... Uh, in meetings to try and resolve that particular issue. It's important the president is spoken about it. You know, many have called on him to say something about it. He's spoken about it. He's mm -hmm. talked about the fact that we should keep tolerance in our schools. And, uh, you know, this is not a place for us to turn it into a battleground and be engaged in ideological, uh, you know, issues. It's good the president is spoken about it. Um, look, I think that um, both uh, Wesley girls and our Muslim brothers and sisters should, should find a solution to this, you know. It doesn't hurt if a child says, I want to fast. Uh, it also doesn't hurt if the school says you can't fast. Uh, you know, there are several ways that you could go about it. At the end of it all, we need a solution that works for both parties. Yeah. But, you know, if a child decides to fast, it doesn't hurt the school in any way. Um, particularly for those who have already been fasting, it doesn't hurt them in any way. So allow them to fast. Allow them. I mean, if you say, going to the dining hall is a school function, no problem. I mean, when we were in secondary schools, you had to be in the dining hall. But you had to be in the dining hall, but you're not compelled to eat. Mm. So there were times we went to the dining hall, we never ate. You know, so if a child wants to do that, that shouldn't be a problem. I think, and then the school is also required to then make allowances for when the child breaks their fast. Um, because that, that's probably outside of dining hall hours, right? Um, and I think that also, if I remember well, the time that they break their fast is um, probably around the time when we're getting ready to go to prep. Mm. So that um, kind of disrupts the prep time. I mean, there the are different sides of the argument. I went to Wesley Girls, um, and I've been very quiet on this issue because obviously it's, it's difficult when your school is in the middle of you know, such a, a, a back and forth. And, and of course, we love our school very much and, and we, we treasure and we value what it means and, and the fact that it is one of the best schools in Ghana. And so to see it in the middle of, of this, you know, kind of back and forth is very painful because we do hold our values very dear. Um, so it's, it's difficult. There, there are definitely two sides to this and, and passions are raging very high. I hope that they can come to some sort of, you know, impasse where you know bo both sides can find a place where there's you know there's 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 peace and and there's um you see, you some some sort of understanding and i am being diplomatic because i do have very strong views about it but i'm yeah, going but to see, reserve let, them let me just chip this in because you know and many of these uh, pastors or reverend ministers of the methodist church have studied religion one of the things they tell you when it comes to studying religion is the fact that look you should empathize with any believer. That person who is practicing his faith, and religion is such that when people, when people are committed to it, look, I am saying, let's find, I mean, and, and I agree with you, let's find a solution to this. It doesn't hurt. It does not hurt. Look, when I was in uh, secondary school, um, there were days we had to go to Dara Cathedral, that's the headquarters of the EP church. All of us were matched there. If the school could take all of us there, a school can make provision for 24 Muslim students. 24, that's not much. Anyway, um, president on a three nation working visit and also on the front page, um, KIA, that's the Kotoka International Airport, enhances COVID-19 protocol following daily graphics uh, report. And so you know that the daily graphic reported that uh, some persons who were showing up at the meet and greet area uh, did not wear, were not wearing face masks and following that particular report um, according to the daily graphic the uh, Ghana uh, uh, the Ghana Airport Company Limited has ensured that anybody who gets there uh, wears a face mask and uh, be creators of enabling conditions Bin Sali urges Muslims that's on the center spread of the daily graphic and Wesley Girls uh, School Bruhaha exaggerated as the according to the Central Regional Peace Council 
<laughs> and uh, Dr. Evans and Fom laid to rest all in the Daily Graphic this morning. Any more? Okay, let me move on to the Ghanaian Times. Um, the front page is pretty much the same as the Daily Graphic. Don't turn schools into battlegrounds. President advises the public. Wesley Girls Fasting Saga. Um, Muslims observe the Eid al-Fitr amid COVID-19. There were no centralized prayers, carnivals, outdoor merrymaking, compliance with safety protocols. Probe underway into Ghanaian students' death in Cuba. That's according to the foreign ministry. Um, and in the middle, um, census spread pictures from the Eid al -Fitr celebration in pictures and um, beautiful pictures um, as a picture that actually is very heartwarming of a little boy helping his little brother and um, to tie the turban for prayers at the Dakuman mosque and also a section of the women and um, praying at the Nima mosque as well and um, on the back page Kotoko Pip dwarfs to maintain top spot fabulous um, <laughs> and only 666 million out of targeted 1.5 billion dollars um, of oil revenue realized for 2020. I'm sure this is going to have some major um, ramifications on our economy because obviously we would have budgeted with what we were expecting to exactly. receive. Um, um, would you like to give us a, a short lecture on this? No, no, no. No, no lectures today? No, no, no. no. Oh! Today's a Friday. I'm quite disappointed. Oh, yes. Sometimes I have to disappoint. Are you sure? Sometimes I have to Oh, disappoint. please give us a short lecture. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. Please, please, please. So today's Friday. Oh, you know, today's Friday, so I don't want to go into uh, lectures and all of Okay, well, that's it for the um, Ghanaian time. Okay, so the... Finder for today says inflation rate drops to single digit uh, of 8.5 in April. We're talking yeah, we about that yesterday. yesterday yeah. If you look at the Upper West Region, I think the inflation rate in the Upper West Region was 2%. And that of the Greater Accra Region was 12%. So, you know, you add all of this together and the national rate is 8.5. But if you're in the Greater Accra Region, you're experiencing a a higher inflation more, yeah. than it is in other parts of uh, uh, the country. We're told that, uh, you know, the food inflation reduced, uh, bringing... Uh, you know, inflation to a single digit. But for those of you who buy foods, I'm sure you can help us understand whether indeed when you get to the markets based on what you buy, uh, those prices have been reduced. But um, also on the front page, Education Ministry to develop policy to guide faith-based schools. I like Ghana. Hey, we have, I mean, we we'll de develop a policy. We we'll develop a policy. No problem. We're waiting. Policy development experts. Mm, that's according <laughs> to Dr. Yao Osei Educhum. And President Akufuado to embark on official visits to France, Belgium, South Africa. Schools, not places for ideological religious battles. Let's uh, maintain inter-religious coexistence to preserve peace. And that's President Akufuado advising Ghanaians. And let's keep our piety, uh, sacrifice, and generosity beyond Ramadan. Dr. Baumia. And also here, Chief of Staff urges public institution PROs to dominate uh, public information discourse. Let me get to the center spread. Uh, it says ratify ILO Convention 190 to protect workers action aid. 167 cocoa farmers uh, receive fair trades living in Campri. I saw this on uh, cocoapost.com. And also, um, new agreement between EU and OACPS, a global turning point. Great. That's it for the finder. Okay, on the front page of the Daily Guide this morning, Oponi backed Agongo to defraud Cocoa Board, says the judge. Local LPG marketing companies appeal to government. Otunfo is backing the president to stop Galamse. And Nana calls for truce in Wegehe on pass. Let me do some international stories on page five of the Daily Guide this morning. Hamas Israel fighting escalates uh, even amid truce efforts. Kenya police fire tear gas um, at pro-Palestinian protests. Mm. South African-born entrepreneur pledges $200 million for African vaccines. Um, so that's um, South African-born pharmaceutical entrepreneur Patrick Soon Xiong. He has said that his family's foundation will spend $211 million to help develop a vaccine um, production in South Africa, mm. um, so for Africa. So that's I mean, this is what we should have done earlier. I mean, exactly. We should have done this long ago. Um, you know, one of the things about COVID-19 is that it was, I mean, something we all did not expect, but it also, you know, provided an avenue for us to solve some of the problems we have mm -hmm. in this country. 
In Ghana, the president talked about the need to industrialize locally as a result of this. We saw uh, you know, funds being made available for some uh, Ghanaian entities to produce uh, sanitizers and, and rubbing like alcohol that, yeah. and face masks mm -hmm. locally right here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. That was good. We've talked about Agenda 111. Unfortunately, that has not started uh, as we envisaged. But that should have, I mean, that should have told us it that. Should have escalated to vaccine, vaccine. Yes, vaccine oh, yeah. development. I mean, let's do it. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, anyway, we're, we're actually. Well, it takes money. Trying, you know, money, money, but, money. But you know, we're money. trying with the um, herbal one. So. Yeah, we're, we're trying. Let's see. We'll see how it goes. Well, this is going to be happening in South Africa. So, um, but the Ivory Coast Prime Minister is in hospital in Paris. Um, he's said to be having medical tests. Um, so, okay, well, that's it. The ex first lady accused of improper Mugabe burial. Um, so, former Zimbabwe's first lady has been summoned to appear before a traditional court over the improper burial of the late president Robert Mugabe. Um, and also, no injuries after two planes collide mid air. Um, and this is in the southeast um, of Denver, in the U.S. state of Colorado. Let's do some entertainment. Um, the middle page of the Daily Guide. So Hajia for real shocks with new music, God's Child. Um, Socialize. Uh, which one is that? Is it a say what? <laughs> you, you have you heard that one? No, you know, you know you say what? <laughs> All you heard in the song was I mean, say I what? The song, no, she was doing, and listen, she was, she was doing freestyle, but all I hear is say what? Say what I see. Um, I'm not sure, but Mona um, Montraj, properly known as Hadja for real, um, has, has launched a new song. Well, she's out with a, a new one called God's Child. It's her third song. Um, and she said, Happy Salah, this is her gift to you. So uh, I think it came out yesterday. Oh, okay. So I, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'd love to hear that song too. Yes, okay. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, but, but, but normally when I hear people sing, like, I ask them, uh, singing to, is it by force? Yes, no, so by please. Dancing is it by force, but you're always, uh, no, no, you're that, always forcing your dancing. No, 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 that's my dancing. I've told you that. It's for every kind of music. That's a rich man's dance. All right, Winston. Rapper Drake has emerged the Billboard Artist of the Decade. Mm. Yes. Um, are you going to give us a line from one of Drake's songs as well? Line, line. Okay. AFDB prom group promotes women's entrepreneurship. Um, BOG appoints primary dealers, bond market specialists. Otufo receives UMB CEO. That's the middle page of the Daily Guy. Let me do the back page. Some football. Chelsea City final move to Porto. So the 2021 Men's Champions League final between Manchester City and Chelsea, it was due to take place in Istanbul on May 29th, has been moved to Portugal because people in the UK are not, well, people in the UK are not allowed to fly into Turkey due to COVID-19 situation in the country. Um, with 6,000 fans from both City and Chelsea allowed in the stadium, the UK government's decision to place Turkey on its red list would have prohibited fans from attending the showpiece for now, which led to the UEFA looking for alternative options. So they've moved it okay. um, to Portugal so that people can go and watch. And let's go to wins from title. Costa Sapaca. So who are you supporting the Chelsea City um, final? Um, well, I, I, I just want to have a good match, uh, you know, um, go and watch and see who wins. You're it, saying it, go and watch as if you're going to the Portugal song? No. Is it not no, I, mean, I, I watch it. So you mean <clears> from <throat> your bedroom to your living room? Sharp. <laughs> uh, you know, but, but it looks like um, um, Thomas Tuchel has a bit of an upper hand over uh, Pep Guardiola. So, uh, you Who know, won the last one? Because they just played last Oh, yes, uh, Chelsea won. Mm. And I mean, they also beat Man City in the FA Cup semi final. It looks like Chelsea has a bit of edge over Man City now. Mm. But um, the final is a one off game. You, you can never tell. You what never tell. How you go. So let's see. Okay. Uh, those of us who will be the neutrals uh, would enjoy. <laughs> Your I'm team sure. is not engaged in it. I would have played in the final before then. We we'll play in the Europa League final. Uh, when is that? Manchester on the 29th of May. Uh, Manchester United. You know. It's the same day. Is it the same day? No, this yeah. is in June, I'm sure. No, no, no. 26th, yours is the 26th, okay, yeah. Right, 26th, uh, uh -huh. even though we lost there uh, last night. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Ole, Ole so shy. Sometimes he wants us to sack him, but his time will come. Let's get to the business and financial times. <laughs> he only has one year left, so. And, um, you know, in 2017, after the atomic gas explosion, there was talk about uh, uh, bulk distribution points when it comes to LPG and mm -hmm. all of that. Now, the LPG marketers fear losing 60 million Ghana cities investment nearly four years after the atomic uh, junction uh, disaster. And they're saying that as a result, there's been no license for the opening of new retail points. 
and they fear that this money that was pumped into it may just go waste. Another fear when it comes to even LPG is the consumption itself, because we've seen a reduction in uh, number. I mean, in, in consumption right from 20. Uh, 20 till now. So here we are saying we want more people to consume uh, you know, uh, LPG and protect our environment. Unfortunately, uh, the pricing is such that people just don't want to and are resorting to other forms of uh, you know, uh, fuel. But let's get to the front rate again still and Ghana Health Service other strained health workers on Laval source management in Upper East Region. That was the papers yesterday. No, um, yeah, no this, well, they didn't come yesterday, so uh, this was in the papers yesterday, but you know, they were not uh, on the stands yesterday because mm -hmm. it was a holiday. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Agric receives less than 4% of bank's credit in 2020 fourth quarter despite growing past all sectors and low food prices push April inflation back to single digits. So uh, that's still the inflation story. Let's get to the um, center spread. What is it? Uh, BNFT weekend that talks about Nado Koyosin delivering life-saving medical supplies to hard to reach areas, one drone at a time. And the back page says uh, danger Momo agents not adhering to COVID-19 protocols and uh, the story about low food prices pushing April inflation back to single digits also at the back page. Okay, so on the front page of the Daily Statesman this morning, NPP calls for co heads and Wesley girls. On pass again, um, this is on the front page of all the newspapers. No religious battles in our schools. President admonishes stakeholders. Government alone can't fight Galamse, says Otunfo. And Akufado to embark on three nation post COVID recovery visits. What does that even mean? Um, let me find that story. It's supposed to be on page two. Okay, here it is. Um, President Anakufad is expected to leave the country on Sunday for a nine day three nation official working visit to France, Belgium, and South Africa. So according to a news release from Jubilee House, the visits are part of efforts the president is making to re-engage with the rest of the world following the onset of the pandemic and highlight Ghana once again as a country with an impressive business-friendly atmosphere with bright economic prospects for, for the future. Don't you feel like, considering that there's a third wave of COVID-19 happening, he should be doing this by Zoom? As opposed to... Yeah, COVID-19 has taught us to do things. As supposed to be going around um, doing this. Well, but, uh, you know, once he's going, and I'm sure that... Uh, he'll, he'll be had, safe, he'll of be course. He'll be adhering to all the uh, protocols, I'm sure. He'll also have taken the second vaccine. Second job, uh, you know, before he leaves. Yeah, before he leaves. Um, so he will be doing that. Um, speaking of the second vaccine, apparently we're going to be starting soon, aren't we? On the 19th of May. Um, so we can go for our second, because we so took it stuff. Uh, on the 2nd of March. We're part of the first uh, persons to have it, so... Yes. So 19th of May. Um, and then we can, well, I mean, apparently in the UK, if you've had your second, you can take off your mask when you're indoors. Yeah, you can. Um, so maybe looking forward to, to being able to do that in our bubble. Yeah, we should be able to. In our bubble. Yeah, just in our bubble. That should be nice. Um, so, yeah, so that's the Daily Statesman um, and the back page of the Daily Statesman. Some more football. Arteta, Arsenal boss angry and says media tried to put things on me I never said. Um, Chelsea, Arteta Chelsea. should stop complaining. You know, his performances are not the best. Yeah, but the thing about Arsenal is that regardless of their coach, they no, are just you know, still if, Arsenal. If, listen, listen, if you're a supporter of Arsenal, Charlie, I respect you so much. You're a very patient person. Patient, you need to have an Arsenal boyfriend and husband in your life. Uh, very loyal, very okay. patient. So if you have an Arsenal boyfriend, he should never be your ex. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this morning we we're talking about that, but uh, the way you're talking about <clears throat> having an Arsenal uh, boyfriend in your life uh, makes that exciting. But uh, let's get to the Daily Dispatch. Uh, been a while since I saw it. Um, the Daily Dispatch. The Daily Dispatch. Um, and it says, um, do not turn schools into places to fight religious and ideological battles. Uh, same story. Uh, Netrite commends EC boss and government will help ISD to enhance flow of information chief of staff and health workers trained on Laval source management in Upper East region. And um, back page, Dr. Preku urges Muslims to pray for peace in Ghana. And the uh, this part says a 2024 presidential aspirant of the new patriotic party. Okay. So it means that um, Apriku wants to be president according to the Daily Dispatch. Uh, that's, I mean, they're focused in, in, 
uh, and elections most of the time. So, and um, government will resource the information service department to enhance information dissemination. Same story here. Okay, well, interesting one on the front page of the Republic Press. GJA president talks trash as he condemns City FM journalist. And this story was actually taken from Joy FM. Mm -hmm. So, president of the Ghana Journalist Association says filming at the national security premises by City FM journalist Caleb Kuda was in breach of the association's code of ethics. Speaking on Joy FM on Wednesday, Roland Afelmoni indicated that the journalist in question accessed information to a means which flies in the face of Article 13 of the GJA Code of Ethics. Well, I mean, I listened to and that particular interview. continued on page three. Okay, sure, go ahead. I listened to that particular interview, and uh, let, let me be very honest with you. Uh, Roland Afelmoni was unable to defend that position because in that same uh, Code of Ethics, you're told that when you know, uh, doing a story in the interest of the nation, you can use unconventional methods mm. in doing so. I mean, for instance, so the uh, article says you should be straightforward, word, 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 except. And then Evans asked him, so wasn't this in the interest of the of nation? Of the nation. And yeah. that should, uh, he shouldn't go ahead to do, yeah, he said, okay, you know, but the end justifies the means. If he had succeeded, fine. But now that he didn't succeed, he should have known. He says, ah. But did he not succeed? He succeeded in filming, exactly. except that uh, he was picked up later, and I'm sure that's what Afil Muni was referring to. But to be very honest with you, um, Afil Muni's comments were just not the best. I mean, mm. uh, not, not, not coming from the president of the Ghana Journalist Association, not at all. Oh, well, well, well. Shall we go to um, some online stories then? Mm -hmm. um, just before that, though, let me run quickly the front pages of the Custodian newspaper, and then we can go to My Joy Online. So on the front page of the Custodian, disseminates government success to Ghanaians, Frema to PROs, high-quality JATA, um, cement to stabilize prices, and um, I love that that's what the introduction of Jata Cement is seem, seemingly meant to do. Um, I've been seeing it being advertised at 30 Ghana CDs. I think the whole well, point uh, is to it, drive... not come up with a price yet. Yeah, I know, but the whole point is to drive so, every, all so, the prices. So sure. no, but I see, social. no, but I see something in all of Now, social media is giving the man a price. Mm. Uh, and, uh, so that all the, everything else can come yeah, down. But the good thing also is that if Jata comes in, and reduces the price, look, it will lead to competition. And I mean, the, good thing, good. the good thing about competition is that the consumer benefits. You know, so those, those who are thinking of building homes would actually get to uh, Jata and buy their cement. And I'm sure that it would lead uh, Dangote, Diamond, and Gassem all to think about reducing their prices. And then we can build. We can build. That's yes. good news for us. So it's good great that news. we've gotten into the market. Um, so great stuff. Congratulations to uh, Mr. Ibrahim Mahama, owner of Jata Cement. I know that this has been um, a long time coming. Long, long, long time coming. So congratulations for that. Let's uphold our religious tolerance, Akufado pleads, and LSM to address gaps in malaria control interventions. And Somalia rejects Mahama as a UN boy. Pretty unfortunate there. And um, that's it for the newspapers this morning. But um, let's go to my joy online. Um, don't reduce our schools to ideological and religious fighting grounds. Akufado tells religious leaders. And um, that's one story there. Um, some of the other stories on my joy online. Okay, so ASEPA calls for the removal of GTA president, Afel Moni. Um, I wonder what that's, well, why, do you know why they're calling for his removal? Because of his comments. Of the comments, uh, yeah, of comments he made. But the man's tenure has ended, actually. So. Uh, he's not uh, eligible for re-election. Mm. So. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Um, so almost like Trump. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Over 90% of vehicles at national security premises distributed, former Maslock boss. I won't hesitate to sanction chiefs engaging in Galam, say that's according to Asan Sehene. Um, social media users react to DSP Azuku's alleged role in assault on City FM's journalist. City FM's journalist committed no crime in filming at national security premises. That's Samson Anyenini speaking there. 
um, some more stories on my joy online um, City FM broke journalist broke DJ code of conduct I found we've talked about that story already and fix the country um, hashtag that was um, the chief of staff Freema um, Apari talking about being measured in our expectations of Akufa we did that story yesterday more stories on myjoyonline.com and um, remember that we will be talking a little later on about your relationship with your ex whether you should be friends with your ex um, or not. What's your take on it, Winston? You should be friends. I see absolutely nothing wrong with being friends with your ex. Um, it doesn't hurt. Um, you know, you're not enemies because you, you're no longer together. Um, I do not know how the relationship may have ended, but whatever it is, I, I try to make friends and not enemies. So I wouldn't uh, you know, be fighting with an ex just because we're no longer together. I see. How about you? Well. Well, I, I don't believe in being friends with your ex. Oh. So, yes. Why? Um, because, you know what they say about lie momos? Ah, uh, uh, mm. uh, So that, that is your fear. It's not a fear. I think... Or there's a possibility of it happening. I, th I think that when you're moving forward, you, can't, you don't move forward looking in your rearview mirror. So I think you leave the things that are in the past in the past. Could it also be and sometimes? And you move forward. Could don't look and give us a lecture. I'm, not, I'm like, asking you a question. Or come and preach. Could, could it also be? Could it also be like... I'm asking you. So that's the question. Uh -huh. Could it also be that uh, there are certain things about your ex that you can't get, uh, that you liked so much, that you can no longer get in your current oh, relationship. Not so necessarily. There's a possibility of wanting to have not that necessarily. again. Not necessarily. I just believe in leaving the things in the past in the past. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not really friends with any of my exes. I'm friends with my ex-husband out of necessity because we're raising kids together. But for that? I mean, but apart from that, I don't know if we would be friends because I'm not actually friends with any of my exes. Mm. Um, just because I really don't see the point. I don't feel that it helps a current relationship to be invested emotionally with people that you've shared your life with in the past. But that conversation is for later. Ah. And obviously, you know, there are two sides to this argument. I see, no, I see nothing wrong um, with it. Of course you don't. And you know, people agree with Winston, people agree with me, which is why it should be an interesting conversation. And I, we would love to hear um, which side you are on. This is an argument which we know. I know, I mean, I know they're going to be on my side. Okay, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll have that conversation um, a little later on. We're also um, having a conversation on something else, my mind has completely gone blank. About happiness, we're talking oh, yes. about how yes. happy you are. The fact that uh, you know Ghana's dropped uh, 30 places in the World Happiness Index. We're 95th now. 95th now. We're 65th previously. We're 95th now. And one of the things they measured, uh, you know, last year was uh, handling of COVID-19 and mm. its impact on the population and how government has been able to mitigate, uh, you know, those effects. Mm. So. That's okay, so you can leave your comments on Facebook for us, Join News um, on TV. Yes, We'd love to hear TV. from you. And why aren't you happy anymore? Is it perhaps because the guache doesn't quite taste the same? The shito doesn't quite taste the same? You know when you buy kinky and pepper, the pepper, the pepper doesn't quite taste the same. You know, the taste of things is just not the same. When yes. you make chicken soup, it doesn't smell the same. Or oh, how? You know, akukobesa is doesn't smell the same. Like, I, for me, I feel like that's why my happiness in my life has reduced. Well, I, I, for you, I understand, because I know how you do all the mixes in the morning and everything. You know, when you come to work and all the packages and I know. And at the moment, I'm on a diet, which has reduced my happiness levels by yeah. like. That's a choice you made. 100%. Yeah. But all those conversations coming up don't go anywhere.